What is up guys, HPFC here and welcome back to Yakuza. So, continuing on with the side missions in Chapter 4. So, let me just have a think. I probably get quite a few done actually in this uh, this episode. I'll also try and make a, I'll make a tiny little bit of story progression as well. Not too much, but just a little bit. Um, right, I think if I go down this um, street right here, it should be a... Uh, Side quest. Well, I'm about to say side quest. He's in side quest, don't I? Side mission. Then again, is there an actual difference between a side quest and a side mission? It's the same thing, isn't it, in video games? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Yeah! My contacts! Why the hell did you step on them? Hey, I custom all of those contacts. Has he caught me by the goddamn shirt? Hands off! I custom all those from Germany, damn you! You better pay for the damages 200,000 yen. Mm, I won't pay, dude. You won't pay, you bastard. Why do you? Th who do you think I am? Oh, I know that you're a guy who's about to have his ass whipped! Like every other guy who gets in my face. What? Huh? Huh? Oh, what? Huh? Man, he was tough. How did I ever make it through that fight? Are you kidding me? Did you really drop your contacts? No, you see, I have an excellent eyesight. Here, this is for all the trouble. I'm really sorry. Gives you 20,000 yen. Not enough, really, is it? Got the experience, though. Oh, look! I found your contacts. Up your goddamn arse, you moron. Right. Um, do do. Next, next, next. There is another one somewhere nearby. Uh. Which street is it? Is it this street? I think it might be this street. Who's this guy following me? Somewhere there's a guy who's up for a scrap. Is it this? Down here? Oh, I've totally forgot where he is. Oh well. Actually, actually um could be this one, the one above the street that I just whooped that guy's ass. Yeah, past Club Sega. Well, maybe it's not. Oh well. I'm gonna head over this way anyway, so like I'm going out my way. Go down here. Dun, dun, dun. Coming through, people. Ah, now I know the. Uh, here we go. We've got a mission right here. This guy. Excuse me. I've been studying the art of palm reading. Will you allow me to read your palm? Ah, go on then. Even though I don't believe in any of that crap. Yeah, go ahead. He's reading. What we got? Hmm. You seem to be a very stubborn person. Oh, what's this? I see signs that indicate trouble. This is very bad. But there is a way to avoid this bad fortune. Do you want to know? I'll only take about ten minutes. It'll, sorry, not I'll. It'll only take about 10 minutes. Go on then. I'll let you waste my time. I'm happy that you want to listen. I have some interesting things to tell you about your fortune, do you know? Come over here. Oh, who's this guy? My name is Nakaya from the Saint Transfer Association. And this is Awata, the head of the association. Awata san is a very notable person. Call me Awata. Nice to meet you. Now, let me get straight to the point. I'm telling you this in confidence. We have some very good information that will make your life better. By wearing this pendant called a Lifestone, you will have good fortune. Many top athletes and famous celebrities wear these. Take a water son here, for example. Thanks to the Lifestone, he earned 10 million yen in just a month. There's more. He recently got engaged to a young model named Momoka. Aha! You're embarrassing me. So, you see, you must buy this pendant. 
its regular price is 500,000 yen. But for you, right now, it's only 99,000 yen. It's not like you'll find a bargain like this. What do you say? Uh, well, I say you, my friend, are talking straight out of your ass. So, no, thank you. Think about it. For as little as 99,000 yen, your life could be marvelous. Come on, you can't find a bargain like this anywhere. Well, I'm not forcing you to buy it. But it's not an offer you'll get a chance like this. Sorry, not often. Can't read today. Again, no thank you. Hey, you! You're not gonna buy one after all the explaining I did? You stubborn prick. Whoa! Like a water sun is saying, why don't you trust us and buy one? For the last time, I told you I don't need it. You better say your prayers. I'm gonna make you regret that you didn't buy one. Okay. Prepare to die. Oh. You hear that? That's the sound of me not shitting myself. Yay, big cons! Oh, guy's pretty quick. He won't be able to handle the big con. That's <laughs> a stamp. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm sorry. And the Kaya guy told me to do it, I swear. Please forgive me. Please take this as a token of my apology. Uh-uh. I'm gonna threaten him. Yeah, I think that Kaya guy is still hanging around Nakamichi Street. Please ask him. He's the brains behind this. Okay, I shall go whoop his ass too. He's only up here. He ain't far. I think I heard a bit of Christmas music playing, actually, during that. Here he is. It's the palm reader himself. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? Ah! You're alive! Of course I am. Well, how about we settle for this? Here's 20,000 yen. And I'll throw in the live storm. Uh-uh. Shit. You take me for a little bitch? That's exactly what I take you for, my friend. I ain't gonna make you my bitch. Not in that way. Hey, yo, fuck. You wanna stop some shit, huh? <laughs> One punch! I tapped him. I tapped him. And he's out cold. My god. Hardest fight ever. Ah, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Received 30,000 yen and a livestone. Ah, he's running off. Uh, I've completely forgot what the livestone does. I'll have to look that up. And I'll, if I remember, I'll tell you what it is next time. It says, Radiate Suspicious Glow. Honestly, I've completely forgot what it does. It might be useless. It might do something. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, let's go this way. Heading all the way to the uh, the east side for a very, very simple side mission. I still think I think he's round here. There's, uh, there's a side mission. I think it's called the uh, the tough guy. I've totally forgot what street the guys are. I thought it was around the streets I've been on, but. Obviously not. I'm gonna have to do that next time. I'm sure, it's somewhere around here. Well, sorry, where I've just been. Anyway, there is definitely one down here. We go talk to this woman who's right at the edge of the street. What's the matter? I came for a drink to cover a story, but I drank a little too much. When I came to, I noticed that my manuscript was missing. The deadline is real soon, too. Need some help? What? You really mean it? Thank you. I've been looking around for it in this area. But I may have dropped it somewhere in the championship district. Okay. I'll bring it to you when I find it. Well... Instead of standing there, lady, why do you go look in the goddamn championship district? Duh. Who's this dude? Hello there. He's a big guy. Members only, mother... Oh, okay, jeez. Man, I was just wondering. It ripped me freaking head off. Anyway, just go down here. 
this is the championship district right here, this little area. And here it is. There's a brown envelope on the floor. Here's the manuscript. Pretty, pretty easy. And let's take it back to her. Hey, is this the manuscript you're looking for? Oh, that's it. Thank you so much. You gave her the manuscript. Now I can manage to meet the deadline. I'm relieved. Bye. Wait a sec. My name is Momoko Kawai. Kawai. I freelance for magazines. I'm covering a story about the city's underworld. If you see me around, don't be afraid to stop and chat. I'll share some information with you. Hehe. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. If I do see her around, I will have that stop and chat. So what she has to say. Anyway, let's just have a look at the missions I've done right there. Uh, I've just done... The price for a palm reading. Um, and search for the manuscript. And... Uh, my contact lenses. So, right, there is another one. Up on this top street. Sort of to the leftish of this top street. All right, we head down here. Actually, let me just double check. I think there there is a, a oh, hang on a minute. Damn you, camera! There is a, a side mission that takes place in this. Uh, car park but n no it's not quite available yet it might be that actually yeah, I think it might be the next chapter that becomes available there is one in there at some point anyway let's keep heading down the street out the way people why is people always walking into me or getting me way out the way ginge no offense oh no oh god camera uh, uh. <laughs> start the Gary be a massive pain in the arse not the best in these older games. Oh, what do these guys want? Right, okay, this is the street. So this guy who's right up here. See this dude here with a hat and his arms folded? This one has walked into him and kind of got stuck on him. Oh god, and fondled him, I think. Right, we just want to walk into him. Oops, sorry. What was he running to? Where's my money? Where's the money, Lebowski? Oh my god, he freaking pickpocketed me. Get the hell back here. Oh, he's gonna pay for that. Oh, there he is. Look at that. He thinks if he just turns around first of the way, I won't see him. Eek! Hey, wait. Hey to wait! After him. I freaking been pickpocketed in real life when I was in Paris. 20 euros out my pocket. Oh, well, mad. Eek! Hey! Fucking stop! No, I won't get them stuck. You just stole my money, dude! Think I'm just gonna let you walk away? Where is he? There he is again. He thinks he's some sort of master of disguise. Dude, I can see you! Ah! Got ya! Give me my money back! I can't believe you followed me this far! Baha! It's okay. If you want it back, you're gonna have to beat me. The successor of the secret assassination arts. Oh boy. Some sort of assassin, is he? This might be a tough one. Oh, look at this. This guy may have moves. Oh. Oh, well. Some, uh, assassin he turned out to be. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'll give you all your money back. You're damn right you will. Thank you. Alright. Quite a bit of experience, actually. I think I might be able to uh, upgrade a couple of uh, times. Right, now. There is uh, a side mission somewhere on one of these streets. It's, I think it's near one of the clubs. It's called the Number One Horse. 
really did. So I know. Uh, should probably make a note of what these streets are on so I'm not just wandering around. It's definitely near one of the clubs, I think. Just a dude stood outside one who stops you. You! What the fuck was that? You need something, huh? Hmm, this problem. Wait. You holler at me and then just walk off? Whatever. I'm in a shitty mood today. I'll just take out my stress on you. Okay, he's getting created. <laughs> yeah! Ow! Oh! Punch to the spine! Oh man. Well. It's gonna be even a worse mood now. Bust his jaw. Wait, alright. You won. Please spare me. Unless, was that the tough guy mission? I don't think it was. I thought the tough guy was, uh. Nah, that was just uh, a, a thing you earn it. Huh. Okay, anyway. Right, I think it might be um, this street. The number one host. Oh. No, it's not, because I've already been up this street, I know. So it's this next one. I'm heading this way anyway, so we can go to Serena. Another street? Nope. Hmm. Well, I can always do it next time. I'll figure out what they are. I'll have to make a note of where everything is, as I said, so I'm not just <laughs> wasting time wandering around. Okay. I don't think I mentioned it either. There is a movie based on this game, by the way, for anyone who might not know and may be interested. It's called Yakuza Like a Dragon. And uh, it's loosely based on this. If you have played this, you could, you'll be able to tell instantly it's based on this. And I, You know, for a, a video game movie, as far as they go, I don't think it's too bad, actually. I kind of enjoyed it. It's not without its problems, but I think it's, it's worth checking out. It's hard to get a hold of, though, if uh, I don't think it was ever released in Europe. I have to import it or something. If you're uh, from Europe. Anyway, um, where am I going? It's this way. Oh! What's wrong with this camera? Here we go. As I said, a little bit of story progression. Not too much. Welcome. Oh. It's been a long time, Reina. <gasps> Kazuma chan. Oh, I see. I'm sorry about Fumasan. Anyway, it's just like you to surprise me like this. I'm sorry. It's good to see you, though. Hey. Reina, Oyabun told me to find Yumi. Yes? Have... have you heard anything about her? Well, after the shooting, I was told that she disappeared from the hospital. But Kazuma, about five years ago, a girl named Mizuki stopped by here. She said she was Yumi Sawamura's sister. Yumi has a sister? Yeah. But she said that Yumi didn't know anything about having a sister. Because Yumi was sent to the orphanage way before Mizuki was even born. I see. So now, where is Mizuki? That, I'm not sure of. 
Mizuki used to stop by quite often. Then one day, she said that she wanted to work here in the same bar that Yumi used to. She worked here for about four years. Then last year, all of a sudden, she opened her own bar. The name of her bar is... Aries. Where is it? She was supposed to tell me. But I haven't heard from her in a while. I tried to get a hold of her, but she changed her number. I see. You know, she looks so much like Yumi. If you met her, you'd see it right away. And she has a tattoo of a flower. Right here. Tattoo? Yumi would never do that. Definitely not. Sorry to have bothered you. Come back again any time. I'll try to help you out any way I can, Kazuma. Thanks. You don't want to know about Nishiki? Or has someone already told you? Yeah, I've heard. Oh. I have to see it to believe it. I'm done trusting what others tell me. Hmm. By the way, Kazuma, do you know the Millennium Tower? It was built five years ago. Right behind the tower, there's a small bar. And the bartender there knows the business well, and has a lot of contacts. When a new bar opens, he'll know about it for sure. He probably knows where Ares is. What's the name of the bar? Bacchus. Alright, that's the next objective. Go to Bacchus. And the hideout's now available, so you can basically come here. Uh, yeah, your HP gradually recovers, you can also save. So, yep, it's the scene right here. You can replay the cutscenes, which is pretty cool, and you can uh, rearrange your items as well, like drop stuff off or pick stuff up. And a bit of item management and all that stuff. And I should, just before we finish, I should get a phone call. I'm gonna have to check this first. Let's quickly, uh, yeah, okay, right, let's exit. That should trigger it. Should set up an interesting uh, mission for next time, actually. Yeah, here we go. You yeah. Kazuma-san, you've got some spare time? My girl's gonna be performing later. Why don't you come and check it out? The place is on Pink Street. I'll be waiting for you in front of the club. See you later. Okay, so I'll do that next time. That's an interesting one. I think it's called uh, My Lover is a Shore Girl. It's quite funny, actually. But anyway, guys, that does it for this part. So, as usual... Thanks for watching, I shall see you next time.